Last night on NBC, Nene Iris took the stage on The Voice Live. I'm David Braley, pro singer, and I'm here to tell you exactly why Nene Iris is pretty amazing. Let's not hesitate. This song is called No Time to Die. Here we go. probably should have stopped earlier than that but i kind of got caught up in it um okay so let's get uh the the i mean the not the obvious not so nice sort of stuff out of the way and address kind of what you're hearing if you're hearing anything a little funny poor girl's tired i can hear it she's tired um it's hard she's doing this um what this is every week got countless rehearsals for a week before you go out you're also doing press um, these guys don't have time to rest. Uh, everything's compacted and um, uh, into one very, very small amount of time. And I know immediately people would want to be like, oh, well, isn't that part of the gig? Isn't that, you know, isn't that the job? And um, no, no, it's not. Um, it doesn't have to be anyway. Uh, you don't, it's, I mean, sure, yes, when you are promoting a new gig, promoting a new show, there are definitely lots of things that you'll have to do. But for it to be as compact to what these folks are, what these uh, uh, people are, are dealing with, these entertainers are dealing with, um, it's, this is just, this is high stakes all the way up here. Um, so yeah, of course she's tired. It makes sense. You could hear it, Her the little swelling, but she's what she's done is with her being a bit tired she's used it she's um she's placed it really really uh in a really safe space right at the at the top like right right behind her nose but still keeps that lovely timbre that she has and that gravel um uh, uh it still it works with this type of song it's it can work as a stylistic choice and i think if you didn't hear anything um uh anything in her voice that might have been a little bit like hey that's a little different if you didn't hear that then that choice worked you know so um what she, what she's doing with where she is and and the her 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 what she has left with her uh instrument um she's really really utilizing it wisely and i'm having a blast with the song the song's beautiful i really really do love this i like billy eilish i'm not huge into uh, a lot of uh modern pop music or anything like that but something about billy eilish and that just kind of the uh, ambiance she creates and this this song is really i mean it's 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 billy eilish and bond you know it it, it works and i like it and um yeah i dig the song I'm digging Nini again. Like I said, she's just tired. It's normal. Stress levels are up here. I mean, it's why I don't really like talent shows. I could go on a long list of talent show stuff, but I mean, auditioning and, 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 and sending your stuff out for gigs and agents and managers and all this, sort of, that's a headache in and of itself. And the competition level is so high. 
throw in a talent contest, man, her head must be just like exploding. I can't imagine. Um, hence why I don't really get into these things, but I'm loving the entertainment and entertainers they have here. Anyway, I'll shut up. Let's go. See that again. You'll get to see that one more time. Just go back a little bit because as I show you, as I said, uh, she's placing it properly. You could actually even you could see it. And um, and when she holds a note, let's see if I can't find it again right here. Here it is. You hear that, that the little smile she put in in that lie. La, la. She really that's that putting it that that forward and making sure that her, her everything's coming out in a solid but safe tone on obviously tired folds. She's being very smart about it, and you could see it. That she what she's doing. One more time, just so, just so you kind of can tell. And we'll go on. Yeah, there it goes. That is Nini Iris. Okay. I, that, that was, um, so, yeah. So first off, that was excellent. That sounded great. Uh, really just the um, straight down to that, you know, the musicality of the song. It's a tough song to do. Um, you have to you have to do a lot of styliz stylization with that type of song because uh, there's so much echo and it's got to be that big broad timbre and you really have to have that intensity behind it. It demands it. You got to have the connection to the words and that real real those the again high stakes. She had all of that. She was really really pushing. All of the, the sound, the music really uh, led the music, uh, despite it's mostly a click track and a couple of live musicians, you know. So it's, it's nice when you see a, a musician actually, a, a, a performer, a singer, actually lead sound like and make sure that she knows the song well enough to sound like she's leading the music rather than the music, rather than, you know, the music playing and her following it, rather than it being back backwards backwards basically um uh she did, took amazing choices uh she had the option and it definitely sounded like there were higher options in what she was looking to do um holding up some of those big notes that ah, da, da, da. Hey, and then threw it away. And um, that, that, that bit, it doesn't, she, that was a, that was definitely, that was a choice. I mean, there's things could, she probably planned to do something completely different, but what she chose to do, whether it be last minute or not, what she chose to do, it was on point. It was perfect. It was, it was simple yet effective. She made the right choice there. Uh, it, it sounded great. Um, and, and it really, you know, it takes, it's, it's a sign of a professional when someone who is not 
working with the best and it could be anything. It could be being tired. You could, uh, you, yep, you could be tired. You could be sick. You could be, you, so a tragedy could have just happened and, and you're, you've got a job and you've got to perform and you don't have much going and there's no understudies. It's either do the gig or don't get the money. You've got to make the right choices and you've got to play it safe for your own voice and you've got to play it safe for the quality of the music. If your ego starts getting ahead of you and you start thinking, oh, I'm just going to, I'm going to take tons of ibuprofen. I'm going to pop myself full of these, uh, of, of uh, uh, fixer steroids and I'm going to sing my face off and oh, I'll just be quiet for a few days. That's when you start looking at getting hurt. Got to take care of this. You got to take care. It's, it's your, it's your moneymaker. I mean, it's what, this is what people want to hear. Um, it, it's, it's, this is, yeah, especially, uh, up here, you want it to stay. It's the longevity is important. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, it's a, yeah, she, she made all the right choices to make that happen as a sign of a professional. Um, so yeah. For what it's worth, that was fantastic on every technical as well as performance level. So, yeah, I'm an absolute happy camper. Guys, I wish her all the luck, no matter what. Again, phenomenal career coming her way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.